Welcome to Real Love, Real Stories TV and Podcast. This is Kanu, I'm the host. This is the place to be to hear love stories. So thank you so much for tuning in. In today's episode, I'm going to be talking about how to make the love languages work for you during the holidays. This episode is brought to you by Audible. Audible is offering our listeners a free audiobook with a 30-day trial membership. Just go to audibletrial.com slash real love real stories and browse the unmatched selection of audio programs. Download the title free and start listening. It's that easy. So go to audibletrial.com slash real love real stories and get started today. So as we're talking today, we're talking about the how to make the love languages work for you during the holidays. So you can go to Audible and download a book by Gary Chapman, The Languages of Love, The Five Languages of Love, where Dr. Gary Chapman identifies five basic languages of love that I'm going to go into um, and, you know, and then understand the uniqueness of these languages. Learn to speak and understand your mate's love language. And in no time, you'll be able to effectively love and truly feel loved in return. They are five love languages. So words of affirmation, quality time, acts of service, physical touch, and gifts. So how do you make the love languages work for you during the holidays? Well, if your partner, first of all, you have to take the test and know what your primary language is and what your secondary language is, and then what's your least valued language. So when you know what your partner's language is, it will make make it so much easier for you to know how to, um, you know, how to make it work in terms of buying them gifts or not buying them gifts during the holidays. So I'm going to help you a little bit today um, so that you can make this holiday season, this Christmas special for your partner. So number one, words of affirmation. So this is the verbal expression of admiration, of pride, encouragement, kindness, and love through words, like the verbal expression. And so some examples are, you can write a note. I mean, this one is simple, like so simple, usually no money involved. Write a note to your partner, like really acknowledge them, what they have done for you, for your family throughout the whole year, this is the time for you to write that really heartfelt, um, heartwarming note to tell your partner how grateful you are for them. So, um, and when you buy them a a Christmas gift, make sure you buy a card that has, you know, whether you write the the note in it or, you know, it's got that already pre-written note in it, that means something to them, to whatever that you're trying to, to share with them. Um, another way is, you know, a lot of families, couples are doing, uh, throwing holiday parties. So another way to do is to praise them in front of others, but you have to make sure though that they are not shy. Um, so praise them in front of others. Like let's say you do a holiday party at your house and you have your friends and family there And this is an opportunity for you to praise them in front of the people that are there that they love and care about. And you can express what it is that you're grateful for them. Um, But like like I said, make sure that they, because some people with words of affirmation, they don't like the public praise. So make sure you understand what, what they like so that you can do that. Number two. Quality time. So showing love through spending time together. An example, um, this is where you can start to create traditions. You can get your partner a vacation. If your partner likes sports, and maybe you don't, you can get them a, a ticket to a game and you can go with them and spend quality time doing and watching what it is that they love. Tickets to the theater. You may not necessarily like going to the theater, but your partner does. Buy the ticket and go with them and spend time with them. And if you're choosing activities to do, 
I encourage you to choose activities that encourage conversation. So quality time, maybe, you know, like I said, you go to the theater, you go to coffee, you sit together and you talk. I think that person who loves quality time may actually enjoy that very much. So I posted on Facebook, just wanting to understand what people thought about gifts or no gifts at, you know, during the holidays. And one of the comments that I got, this person wrote, wrote, no gifts. My love language is quality time and gifts are least valued. So sometimes we travel somewhere. And lucky for her, her partner also likes quality time. So it's so easy for them to, um, you know, just do the quality time as gifts for each other versus if you were a quality time person and the other one is a gift or acts of service or words of affirmation. For her, it's easy to just show love for her partner uh, because they have the same, they share the same language. The next language is acts of service. That's showing love by doing thoughtful things, things that are kind for your partner. So for example, you could, for Christmas, you could fix a meal for them, you know, special for them. Um, if, if this is for your wife or maybe the husband, whichever one does more cooking for the family all the time, you could say, let me help you. You could say, take a seat, pour a glass of wine and let me cook dinner today that person would really appreciate it. Or maybe they cook and you could say, honey, I'm just going to clean the kitchen. You know, you've done the work. Let me just clean up. You know, you could do that for them. Um, You could also choose to run an errand that you know your partner dislikes. For myself, I dislike washing cars. I dislike putting gas in my car. So if I were in a relationship and my partner wants to do something for me, they would, it, I would really love it if they take my car and wash it, get it detailed, and then put gas in it. For whatever reason, I don't like that at all. But um, if somebody was to do that for me, that just would mean the world to me. And also for acts of service, if you both like to volunteer to do things, um, or if your partner likes to volunteer to do things, you could go you know, arrange to go to the soup kitchen to go and serve the community together. You could arrange to, if you go to church, to serve together. Um, You know, spending time together by doing acts, meaning you're doing things for other people, but you're doing it together. The next language is gifts. So I'm talking tangible gifts. That's saying, I love you, I care about you. The language of showing love through thoughtful gifts. So you have to be intentional when you're giving gifts. Think about your partner. What is their lifestyle? Imagine them using the gift. And then have no expectations of getting something back. Um, I love gifts. Gifts was my number one language. It probably still is. I love throughout the year thinking about my family, thinking about the person I'm in a relationship with, you know, what they would like in buying it and storing it for that special event, like a birthday or Christmas. So being very intentional, being very thoughtful and not just going last minute and buying things that they may end up returning. So being very intentional when it comes to gifts. Going back to the Facebook post that I posted um, asking about gifts or no gifts, um, this person commented and said, gifts but they are all very non-exciting. Every year he gets socks, boxers, and you know, typically something I actually want for the house. Like she said, um, she got a vacuum one year. Um, they get a good laugh and focus in on their family. And uh, this person said, uh, you know, they don't really exchange gifts. She shops, uh, and she called it retail therapy throughout the year. And so really, when it comes to Christmas, there's nothing she can think of that she wants, but somehow they always end up finding a little something to share. Uh, This person wrote, my former partner and I didn't do holiday gifts. We didn't like the pressure and we just gifted each other things when we felt like it and saw something that reminded us of the other person. It made it more organic. 
So, you know, really know your partner, find out what they like. And sometimes it's not really about the, how expensive the gift is, um, but it's about, you know, were you thinking about them, you know, and they will love it. And the last language to talk about is physical touch. So the language of expressing love via physical touch. So an example would be give your partner a homemade certificate for a back rub, for a foot scrub, you know, and slow down and be in the moment. Don't assume your partner loves PDA as well. So make sure you understand your partner. So plan dates around opportunities that get you close. For example, when you're making dinner reservations, find out if there is a table where you both can sit on the same side of the table and you can hold hands if you need to. Um, and if you like sports like tennis, you know, find a partner, a, a couple that loves to play tennis and you guys can be on the same side and you can high five each other while you're playing tennis that sort of thing. So it doesn't have to be something elaborate. It can be something very simple, um, like, you know, a, a back rub for a person who loves physical touch. So there you go. I hope this helps you during, during this holiday season. Um, it doesn't have to be so complicated. You just have to understand your partner and, um, you know, speak to their language so you can put a smile on them this holiday season. Thank you so much for listening and all the way to the end, I am genuinely so grateful. So now you can continue to show your support in a few different ways. The first one is, if you can think of someone who might benefit from this episode, please send it to them. And the second thing is, we all are on social media, Facebook, Instagram, and the like. So please share this episode. And I love it when people tag me to their post. And three, head over to iTunes. You can leave a review and you can rate this episode. All your feedback is very helpful and it helps this podcast get visible so others can listen to all these great stories. Thank you so much. Till next time.